Hi, I'm Karen Gregg, and I'm going to go over how to use PubMed, the basics today. PubMed is an interface for searching biomedical and life sciences journal articles and other related content. It does not have full text included in the database, but it usually uh, institutions will link their PubMed version to their holdings. Uh, it contains the Medline citations and links to some full text articles. Uh, Medline consists of over 5,200 scholarly, scholarly journals that are published worldwide. It also contains PubMed central papers, which are open access full text articles. It has a lot of articles that are in process. They have been uploaded to PubMed. However, um, nobody has indexed them with mesh terms yet. And then there are also articles that are submitted by publishers ahead of print. When you begin using PubMed, it's very helpful to create an NCBI account. You have to have one in order to save searches, set up alerts, and set search and display preferences. When you first go into PubMed, click Login in the top right-hand corner, um, select New Here, Sign Up, and then click on Create New NCBI Account, um, complete your required fields, and then sign up. So when you search PubMed, the default way PubMed searches are, uh, is keyword, and keyword searching will focus on your title, abstract, and subject headings. It's important to see if your search terms have uh, mesh headings, which are medical subject headings, because the database uses a control vocabulary and the mesh headings are really the thesaurus terms. The best practices are to use a combination of keywords and mesh subject headings. And the reason you would do that is that it can take up to two years for mesh subject headings to be assigned. And so you wanna make sure you don't miss any new articles. So you'll want to start by building your search strategy. If you've not seen the first video in this series, conceptualizing your search, constructing research topics and strategies, and you feel like you need more help learning how to do so, I have included the URLs for both the video, individual video itself. You can also check UNC's public health YouTube playlist, and I have the URL below for that. But for the topic, how does social media use, use impact body dissatisfaction and restrictive eating patterns in college age women? There are three main concepts. There's really four, but I collapse two together. You have the concept of social media. You have the concept of body dissatisfaction or restricted eating. And the reason I'm including them together is because there are probably a lot of articles that refer to one, but maybe not the other. So you want to make sure there that you combine them all with ors in order to get either or. And then you have the concept of college age women. So if you were to sit down and try to build out a search strategy using just keywords, you might come up with something like this. You can see that there's a search strategy for social media. There's a search strategy for either body dissatisfaction or restrictive eating and another one for college age women. And that's great, but you probably want to find the mesh terms. So for all of these keywords, you're probably going to want to see if there is a mesh term for all of them. So, we're now going to go in and go live, and I'm going to show you how to find mesh terms. This is the main website for UNC's Health Sciences Library. The fastest way to get to PubMed is from the quick links on the front page. Click on PubMed. This is the new interface for PubMed. If you haven't searched in a few months, you may not be used to seeing this. I'll show you where everything is. To get to your mesh headings, your mesh database, scroll down to the bottom and you'll see this link here, mesh database. So click on that. And then look at your list of search topics. So if I were to pull this up here, you'll see there is a social media strand. And the first thing I'm going to do is look up social media. And there is actually a term called social media, which is great. I sometimes will scroll down. Sometimes there are subheadings under your main subject heading and you may wish to pick, if you're only interested in legislation, you could just pick that subheading. There are entry terms down here. And sometimes you'll get um, other keywords you think you might wanna use, such as social media might be one of them. So what I do at this point is I add the term social media to my search builder. And then I copy this term and I go back to my search strategy document and I will add it in here. 
And you'll notice right here that I do have social media also as a keyword. So what you're saying is give me anything that has social media as a mesh heading or just as a keyword. You'll often see things repeated. So what I do for each of these um, topics is I go in and see how many of these have mesh headings. For example, let's say I've finished that other one and I want to see if body dissatisfaction is a mesh heading. And sure enough, it is. Sometimes you will get no hit. Sometimes it'll map it to a different term. But if you see that there's no hit at all, there's no result, then you just go ahead and search it as a keyword only. So again, I add it to the search builder. I copy it and I paste it in my search document. When I'm done, it may look something like this. I, you see a bunch of mesh headings in the search. Here's one for young adult. You'll also see that I had uh, some terms that had bracket T-I-A-B after them. Th that would be a field code. You could just search as a keyword, but you also can use different field codes that help concentrate and focus your search terms in specific places. So if I use T-I-A-B, TIAB, what I'm saying is I want this term, but only if it's in either the title or the abstract. And I tend to use TIAB a lot because it focuses my search pretty well. It's not searching in every field. It's just restricting it to the ones that I think would be relevant. So at this point, we're ready to deploy our search. We have a built out search strategy. I'm going to start by taking my first concept and copying it. You want to make sure that you take the mesh database and move it back to PubMed. You do not want to be searching your keyword, your search strategy in mesh. You won't get anything. So I'm copy and pasting my very first search strategy and when you come back, it says that social media isn't in here. Sometimes you'll say quoted phrase not found. It just means that that particular phrase isn't found in the database. It's usually nothing to worry about, but you want to look and make sure you didn't misspell something. So then I'm going to go to my second um, set, which were the body dissatisfaction and restrictive eating terms. And I'm going to copy and paste that. And I have search number two. I recommend that people do complex searches like this in multiple steps instead of trying to create one long search strategy and then combine them together in the end. Um, my final one would be the terms for college age women. And you see here there are parentheses. I think it's because I have two different um, search. So I have the young adult concepts and I have the women concepts. So I do separate them out with parentheses with an or between those sets. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to do that last set. So now I have three search strings and the goal is now that I have to put them all together. And the way that you do that is you click on advanced and when you click on advanced, you'll be able to see your um, history. So this was the first one I did, the social media terms. I'm going to add query number one. I'm going to add query number two with and, because that's going to force it to include all of these three strands. So and narrows your search or broadens it. And here's number three. I add that with and as well. And then I click on search. And I have 145 results. And many of them look relevant to my topic. Sometimes when you scroll through, you'll see terms in your title or abstract that you hadn't thought about. Like here's Google Plus. You might want to copy that and add it back to your search and try again. Over here, you can change the year range. If you only wanted, you know, the last five years, you could go back to 2015 and move your little circle this way. You might want to try um, different types of articles. Uh, or and here you actually have one five or ten year date. You can limit to just humans. Um, I tend to not do that for topics like this because animals generally aren't on social media. And I'll show you once you get in, you'll see the title, you'll see your abstract, and then if you scroll down it will show you similar articles. That can be very helpful. Uh, sometimes you'll find articles that didn't come up in your search this way. This will show you 
all the, the other articles that cited this article. And again, you may find other relevant articles this way. And it will also show you which mesh terms were assigned to the article, and that may help you too to find other mesh terms. If you want the full text, you often will have um, vendor links. I always start at find at UNC first, uh, and sometimes like this says free full text. So if we didn't have it in our catalog, you could come back out and try that one. But this will lead to your um, article. And of course, if you're off campus, you will need to sign in with your onion. And it does show that we do have the full text online. You can actually click on that and go to the article itself. If we did not have it, if it said we don't own this article, you can request it from another library via interlibrary loan. That is a free service available. To Back at the article, the record again, if you want to send it to your citation manager, you just click on send to citation manager. And you can also take entire sets and send them all to your citation manager. So this was the final set that we had. And you can say send to citation manager and you can say all results on this page or all results or whatever selections you made. That can be very helpful. Thank you and if you have any questions from the main UNC website, you can go to ask us. Uh, we, you can use chat, you can email us. You can also, if you're in public health and you want to contact me directly, you can go to my research guide at public health. And my contact information is here on this page. Thank you.